In this tutorial, we will teach you how to improve wide-angle panorama in Adobe Photoshop CS6. The current software opened is Adobe Bridge. A new command feature is that it allows pictures to be imported to Photoshop CS6. The option of Process Collection in Photoshop present in the Tools menu here explores all the images in Bridge. Select those pictures which it thinks belongs to a panoramic image, and Photoshop automatically stitches these images together. It also selects multiple exposures of a scene and merges them together to HDR. If you go to the Tools menu, drop down to Photoshop, and click on the Merge to HDR Pro option. Go back now to Photoshop to the image you'll be working on. Here we have a wide-angle panorama image, which has already been converted into a smart object layer. Select the Adaptive Wide Angle option from the Filter menu. Since it's a large file, it may take a while to load and work on. Start by changing the correction to fisheye from auto. After that, start creating constraint lines to correct the angle. You can keep on creating random constraint lines where you think the angle needs to be corrected. To remove a constraint line, all you have to do is press the Alt key and a scissor will appear. Just click on the line and then it will be removed. You can also undo your action by pressing Ctrl Z. If the lamp posts seem crooked to you, just draw a line and then the angle will get corrected. Once you're done, click OK. Get the crop tool to crop the image, and your image is now good to go.